from New York State, Gerald Salente. We're simulcasting the uh, radio show now in the last two hours at PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get to your calls in this hour, your questions or comments for Gerald Salente at 1-800-259-9231. He can really comment on any issue. I want to get his future trends for the economy, uh, gold, what he sees uh, future trends uh, with the police state, with war, uh, with provocateur events that he predicted in the last year, what he thinks about the underwear bomber, and the fact that he was ushered on the plane, Someone was videotaping him the entire time he was on board the plane. He was on terror list but ordered to be let on. His parents warned the FBI. The fact that they're now saying they want to attack Yemen and in the months before massed U.S. troops in Yemen for a new war there, just like Afghanistan. We're going to talk to Gerald Salente about all of that today. Gerald, of course, really doesn't need much uh, of an introduction, but he is the martial artist of trends forecasting. And the uh, purpose of trends forecasting is to provide insights and directions in anticipation of what the future may bring and to be prepared for the unexpected. And uh, he, of course, uh, is uh, the founder of Trends Research Institute, one of the top trends researchers in the world. The website is trendsresearch.com. And joining us uh, from his offices uh, in New York State is Gerald Salente. Gerald, good to have you here with us. Oh, it's always great being on with you, Alex. Well, we're about to go to break in three minutes, but... Out of the gates, what do you think about the terror scare? Oh, we've all got to be body scanned. We've all got to be prisoners on the planes. We, 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 have, we have to keep our hands in our laps, nothing in our laps, no electronics. The government's going to save us. Well, you know, as you know, we had predicted terror 2010 it was going to be an increase. And as the economies continue to decline, they're going to look for more and more excuses to make the people fearful so that our minds go off the bad economy and go on to terror. And government, of course, is going to pretend that they can save us and protect us. And, of course, we all know better. So they're going to use any incident, be it false flag or real, to keep gaining more control. Because as we can see what's going on here is that Obama is out Bushing Bush. Absolutely. Uh, we got a few minutes before we go to break. How is he out Bushing Bush? Well, go to the Patriot Act. They're bringing it to new levels. They've increased the war into Pakistan. Even Bush was hesitant about sending in predator drones into a sovereign country. He's escalated the war into uh, Afghanistan. And now, as most people don't know, and you reported about a, uh, a couple of weeks ago, under Obama's direction, they've been fighting the Yemen war alongside Saudi Arabia, providing them with intelligence, and ostensibly they've been providing uh, air support and cruise missiles. So he's taking this, this global war on terror to is really spreading it around the globe. You predicted two years ago on this show that they would be going into Africa in a big way. That's now happening. Yes, and it's very important to watch what's going on in Yemen. Yemen, of course, borders Saudi Arabia. The Saudis are in the middle of a fight there for civil, in a civil war. Over 100 Saudi soldiers have been killed, many more captured. The point being, if there's a strike on a Saudi oil facility, which is a high probability as this Yemen war expands, all bets are off for the economy. We're going to get hit with an oil shock. Forget this false recovery. It'll go straight toward the Greatest Depression. Well, over a year ago here, back in October when they passed the banker takeover bill, you and many other economists we had on uh, said that it would be a sugar high, that, that, that real jobs would keep contracting, but big banks, insurance companies, they would announce big profits, which they did. But the real economy is imploding. Now they're admitting the sugar high is wearing off. We'll talk about what's happening with the economy and a lot more as we look at trends into 2010 with the master of trends, Gerald Salente. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, the founder and head of the 
Trends Research Institute, Gerald Salente, joins us via video Skype in this uh, multimedia cast, radio TV, that we're transmitting today. One of the last shows of 2009, the 29th day on this Tuesday of December. Uh, okay, Gerald Salente, I want to pick your brain today about the economy, about other trends you see developing, but finishing up with the terror. Uh, what is your gut looking at the way they already had troops massed in Yemen? They were gearing up for this. Uh, they ushered him on without a passport or ID, past security. Someone was filming him the whole time he was on the plane. People thought that was strange. Looked like some type of drill. His father warned people. Uh, he was on the terror list, but that was ignored. On and on and on. And now, oh, we've all got to accept the body scanners. Oh, Obama's got to launch new wars. I mean, if this isn't staged, I tell you, this is the luckiest thing in history for Obama. Well, again, you know, I, I don't know. It, 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 because there's always the other side of the story. And that is the high level of incompetence from the government. Look who's the Homeland Security Director. Janet Napolitano. Are you kidding me or what? Homeland Se Security of what? I mean, look at these people. You know, you know who these people are, Alex? Remember in high school and college, the people that wanted to be the class president or the head of the student council that thought they were smarter than everybody else and they sucked up and glad-handed and brown-nosed and knew nothing? Well, here they are. They're telling all the rest of us how to think and how to act. You know, is it suspicious? Yes, it is. Is the government totally incompetent? Look at what they're doing. Katrina quality rescue skills. They still have a hole in the ground when 9-11 happened at the World Trade Center. Look at the wars they're prosecuting. The military hasn't won a war since World War II. Oh, I forgot Grenada. They did a great job on that one. So, I mean, you're working with a bunch of incompetence as well. So, yeah, it looks staged also. There could be a collusion. But, again, when you put the whole mix together... You know, it, it, it makes you wonder. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, in every one of these shoe bombers, you name it, some special security person ushers them with fake IDs or no ID right up onto the plane. And then meanwhile, I've seen old people who look like they're on the edge of death with oxygen tanks literally being screamed at by TSA. I mean, I won't fly through Houston, George W. Bush. George Herbert Walker Bush Airport, because they literally scream at you like animals, and they've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of people on power trips literally howling in there. I mean, it, it, it is, it is otherworldly how screwed up things are. So I understand uh, what you're talking about, about the ineptitude. This just fits so much of the past M.O. we've seen with staged events, and we know they stage things like Gulf of Tonkin and other events. Oh, of course they have. Remember the main. Yeah, I mean, it goes on and on. And, and, and the other side of the story, too, who really do, do the legislators or the president or the cabinet, they don't care about stepped up security, what we have to go through. I hate to fly. I try to go nowhere anymore because they have their own private jets. They, everything is paved for them. They go to another country. They have military attaches picking them up, carrying their luggage boarding them on and taking them where they have to go. So this is just another inconvenience, if you will. That's right. That's why our military's in 190-something countries, because they're butlers to all these corrupt people in, con in Congress. I was talking to a European Union member of Parliament yesterday, and he pointed out that the European Union bureaucrats are exempt from EU taxes. Did you know that?